Hello. Today we'll talk about Python scripting. Python is a programming language which is extremely widespread and versatile. The original Maya embedded language is called MEL and uh, it is similar to JavaScript but um, Python is much more versatile. And I'm not uh, an experienced programmer, but I can give you a hint how to start working with Python. And the first line is the most crucial line and the, probably the most complicated line. And you kind of have to internalize that or copy and paste it. It's down in the description anyway. And that's what you currently see here. We need to tell Python to import Maya command. So, for example, Python understands what we mean by a sphere or by a cube or by a plane. Import Maya.commands as Maya command. That's the first line we should start with and that's what we're gonna do now. Here is how you get to the command part in Maya where you can type in commands. It's this icon here. When you click here, the editor opens. If there's something at the top because you already did things in Maya, don't worry, you just type in here, type this, uh, tap on this icon and uh, everything up here will be deleted. You have a Mel and a Python a tab down here and that's why, where you program. We won't program Mel today, but we'll program Python. So the first thing we need to type in is this line which tells Python to deal with Maya commands. Import. When I type the T now, the word turns green, which means Python knows what import means. Maya CMDS commands as, and that's the way we're going to call them now, an abbreviation MC. Don't worry about it, just type in this line. And with the enter key, second line, you're ready to use Maya commands. One command in Maya is plain. It turns italic and blue. That means Python knows that command plain now. Usually the Python command syntax does not know plain, but since we import it, basically, the Maya commands, it does know plain. And in order to make this work, we need uh, parentheses and uh, this is the code for creating a plane. Let's uh, execute it by clicking here and we get an error because we need to tell Python not only to identify that command but to execute it in a Maya way and that's the MC here. So in order to make this work we need to type in mc.plane and now we have the plane here and it sits in the center of the scene. If we want to create a sphere, it goes like this. And we can clear the line up here by clicking here. And actually we're going to delete everything so we have nothing in the scene. Now we execute that command and we have a sphere now. And a plane sits inside the sphere, I guess. Move it to the side. Here is the plane. Okay, delete those two. Delete this and create a loop. A loop is the central unit of uh, automation. It's, uh, it's at the core of programming. And the loops always more or less sound the same. They're typed in the same way. For i equals something to something execute this. And they all are typed slightly differently in different computer languages and in Python the loop goes like this for and then I type the variable which can be an I which is typical for maths anyway in for I in and here comes the range that's the range from say 0 to 3 and this is just the invoking the loop. It doesn't do anything. It just takes a number i, sets it to 0, 
then sets it to 1, then to 2, and then to 3. That's basically the loop. In order to finish that line, we need in Python, in, in Mel it's a semicolon, in Python we need a colon. And when we press the Enter key now, it jumps into line 3 with a, a tab indent. Uh, which is important because everything with the indent is basically what is being executed with that loop. For example, mc plane, and now we can execute that. What will it do? It creates three planes, plane 1, 2 and 3. Because Maya planes, there's no plane zero, so it starts at one. If we delete these and change that number from zero to one and execute it again, we have two planes. It starts with one, it continues with two, and with three it's finished. That's why it doesn't execute the three. That's typical for a loop. Um, now the planes sit on top of each other. The plane number one is this one. Let's create a new line. It's indented, so uh, we're still in the loop function here. And what we can do now is we move the plane which is created. We created uh, two planes. Actually, let's create a few more. And instead of typing 1,3 or 1,12, we just can type 12, which is the maximum. It's, so it starts at 1 and it can, uh, ends at 12. So we move that plane from its original position to a position of 3, 4 and 5. What does that do? We execute the command and now we have 12 of them. And where are they? They are all sitting here on top of each other. Because we move them all to position 3, 4 and 5. Now how about distributing them in different positions? How do we do that? That's making use of the i here, which is the variable. And uh, we can basically type in the variable here, i times, and let's type in times 2, and maybe let's distribute them not only in the x-axis, but also in the y-axis and now we execute that command and there, there. They're much higher because we have that high value of times 4 in the y direction and a softer distribution in the x dir direction which is 2 here in this case. Um, let's delete all these planes and the last thing I'm going to do now is we create a cube. Now, when I type the word cube, it does not turn blue. Why is that? Um, so, it basically says Python doesn't know what a cube is. Although we basically did the same as with the mc.plane here. Let's create a cube here by using this icon. And down here you see the result. We created a poly cube. So how about typing poly cube? And this turns blue now. Lovely. Parentheses. And we're going to scale that. Turns blue, just fine. We scale the poly cube i times 2, 0 and 0 and we close the bracket. What does this do now? When we execute that command the cubes will be scaled in x by a factor of 2 and the dimension in y is 0 that means they don't have a uh, an up dimension and the same with the z so they will be just flat objects. And that's what we see here now. Uh, this, for example, is cube number one. And we see our, our planes distributed in that step kind of way. Let's delete all these things. So a scaling doesn't make sense when you set the values to zero. But we can set the value to one and type in i 
times 2 right here and we want to move the polycube move and we're going to move it by i times 4 and i times 3 and i times 4 now let's have a look what this does and with this I'll leave you there so we have lots of cubes now scaled only in two dimensions and the planes here so the first thing you need to know is use this line here when you start programming in Python have fun and start programming Bye-bye.